Maker, it's Claire from Eclair Makery, and today I'm going to be teaching you different ways of how to seam crochet pieces together. So before you begin, you are going to need a nice big tapestry needle, which is basically a giant embroidery needle. This one's made out of steel, and I really like these because they go really easily through all of the crochet stitches and don't catch. Sometimes plastic needles um, will snag on the yarn, so I really like using these ones. Then I have a long piece of pink yarn here because it goes with my nice block that I've got right here. You can use any color of yarn, I really recommend using one that will blend right in to your work so that you can't notice it at all. And then I've just got some scissors just for when we need to uh, finish off the piece. So to start, you are going to want to thread your needle and then you will make a knot on your needle by placing the end of the yarn on top of the end of your tapestry needle on the eyelet part and then you take that strand of yarn like this and you are going to wrap it around the tapestry needle. I'm going to say do it about five times with this worsted weight yarn and then you're going to hold the needle but slide the stitches down and pull it just like this so that a nice knot forms at the end. This way, as you're stitching, the end doesn't go through your crochet piece and all the stitches stay together. So there are a few different ways of how you can seam crochet pieces. And so when you seam them together, you're going to want to flip over to the wrong side. You'll see you can tell it's the wrong side with tapestry crochet because I've got my ends not woven in and the back looks different than the front. So the first stitch that I'm going to show you guys how to do is the whip stitch. Now this one is great if you want to just go nice and quick with sewing up your pieces. It'll stay. Um, it's not as neat as some of the other ones but it works well. So how you do the whip stitch is you're going to come up through the bottom here and I usually start on the right side just because I'm right handed, but you can start on any side. Um, then you're going to go through the side here and then you're going to go up to the other side, come up through this one and then it's going to form this little line right here of the yarn. And then this one essentially is you're just coming up through one side, going up through the other, pulling it through, and you create these posts on it. And you can just do that all the way up. And on the other side, you can't even see it when you pull it. Um, well, you can right there a little bit, but that's totally okay. And then you just keep going like that all the way along the piece. Now this isn't my favorite one because sometimes, like especially if I'm doing garments, I feel like it comes undone easier. But I think this is a blanket so you can easily just keep going up and pulling it. And this is what it looks like on the other side. So like my whip stitch is right here. And then I am going to show you another way to join, which is using the mattress stitch. Now this one is probably most people's favorite because it creates an invisible um, seam and it holds together really well. For the mattress stitch, you're going to want to have the right sides of your work facing you. And then you're going to do the same thing with having a nice long piece of thread here and so to start with the mattress stitch we once again I'm going to start on the right side we're going to come up through here and then we are going to come up through the side of the stitch and now see this is different than when you are doing it on 
the main rows of your crochet piece where you've got these defined stitches on the edge here it's a little more rough but it the same principles can still apply so you're going to want to come up through on the edge here this little post come up like this and then you are going to be making little mini v's so then we're going to come over do the same thing find one of these side stitches come up like this and you can see there's this little V right here you'll come up over here on this side and then come over here like this and so you'll see I have these stitches I haven't pulled them tight yet so they're a little bit looser just so that you guys can see what they look like and you can see they've created little mini V's you know just keep going like that pulling it up through those little tiny posts on the side to create your V's as you go just like this and then when you pull the thread all the way closed, all the one the yarn comes together and you can't see the seams anymore. See it's all nice and joined and it looks like it was one piece. So I'll show you just guys I sat again with the mattress stitch. Come up through here on the side. Come over here on the side. To create a V, come over here again, you got your little V right there, come over here, come up this way, and then you have your stitches right there, pull it tight and it's all seamed. And you can't see the seam at all. So that's how you do the mattress stitch, which is, I really love how it just blends right together. So let's get to the two other ways how you can join the pieces together. One of people's favorite, other favorite ways of seaming up crochet pieces is using a crochet hook and some yarn to slip stitch along the piece to join it together. So I've got a crochet hook here that I used for um, making these blocks. It's a size J, but you can use any crochet hook. And then I've got my ball of yarn here, and I have my yarn strand. And then you're just going to insert your hook through one of the top corners, and then through the corner of the other one. And you'll hold these together, and you'll have this little ridge that you create right here and you're going to pull this through and do a slip stitch just like this and then you can go into one of the edge stitches right here and then you'll go through both of them through both squares and then you're going to slip stitch through there and just pull it through that loop that you had at the beginning. Go through one of the next stitches on the side here, pull the yarn through the loop and you just do this all the way along the edge here. Just going through the loops on the side of the crochet piece and just slip stitching and you'll see on here you'll have the slip stitches will show up on your crocheted piece on the back side because you're going to do this on the wrong side of your work and just keep going along doing that just like this and so on the other side what it does is it does create the invisible seam here. It just, sometimes it's a little more raised because you're creating a ridge on here. This is really similar to how it is with sewing. When With sewing, you have these two pieces together sew along right there. 
And so that's essentially what you're doing. You're just doing it with your yarn. And so this is just, if you want a quick, another quick way, this is a really quick way of how to seam up your pieces really easily. So one last way that you can seam your crochet pieces together is using single crochets. So how I always start mine is I'll put my crochet hook through one of the corners and up through a corner on the opposite side. And then I'm gonna slip stitch through and then I like to chain one and then single crochet one in that same stitch. Oops. Single crochet one in that same stitch here. And then just like that. And so just like with the slip stitch, you're just creating a single crochet border between the two pieces. So I like doing, if you're gonna do, join it this way, especially with this piece, I really think that using the slip stitch way can work better because it just uses less yarn. But this way also works too. And then you'll see on this side, you can tell that there are some stitches right here so that's one reason why I don't like this way as much, just because it shows up a little bit more. But if you want to intentionally work this into your design, it can look really well and it does keep the pieces together. So it all just really depends on your preference of how you want it to look. If you want an invisible seam, maybe going more with this um, whip stitch or the mattress stitch. And if you want a more textured look, going with the slip stitch way or the single crochet way. It's really up to you how you want to seam your pieces together. And that is four different ways of how to seam your crochet pieces. I hope that was super helpful and I will see you next time for another tutorial.